Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Match. Today, I'm going to talk about a display manager, or really, it's a login manager called Ly. L Y, Ly. So, let's get to it. Today, I am in a virtual machine of Arch Linux with the Qtile window manager. So, today, we're going to talk about Ly. So, if you've been following my uh, channel, you know that most of the time I log in with Stardex from the TTY. And also, if you've been watching my install videos, you know that uh, in my script, my post install script that I use from my GitLab repository, I always install LightDM and I turn it on by default. So if you're using my script, you'll have LightDM installed and it'll be turned on automatically. Now, sometimes I use LightDM, but most of the time I just log in through, like I said, through the TTY with Stardex. But now there's Lie. So let's install it and see how it works. So what I'm going to do is open up a terminal. So I'm going to type in sudo pacman s lie l y. That's enter. I'm going to put my password in. And I'm going to install it. There it is. Now it's installed. And now I'm going to do sudo system control enable lie. I'm going to put my password in. And I'm going to reboot. So that's lie. Now we're at the login screen. So this is not something you uh, use your mouse with. Your mouse won't work. And uh, the way you'd use it is. We're at the login, so I'm going to use my up arrow to go up to Cinnamon. So I can log into Cinnamon. Now I'm going to use the arrows that way or that way. So you can go uh, Cinnamon Software Rendering, Qtile, DWM, awesome. Back Cinnamon on Wayland, Qtile on Wayland, Xena RC. You can actually log in through your Xena RC file using this. Shell, you can log into the shell. This will take me to uh, the TTY or back to Cinnamon. Now, up here, and I don't know if you can see it because it's pretty small, it says F1 will shut down and F2 will reboot. So, what I'm going to do is, oops, let's log into Qtile. And then, once ready, use the down arrow to go to the login. I'm going to put in my name, Mench. I'm going to go down again, use my arrow to go down, and I'm going to put my password in. And there we are. We're logged into Qtile. One thing I don't like is that the font is really small on the login screen. Everything is small. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to open up my terminal. I'm going to cd into Etsy. And I'm going to type in sudo vim v console conf. Like that, okay? Now it's going to ask for my password. And at the bottom of this file, I'm going to type in font equals tier dash 132B. And notice font is in all capitals and the rest is not in capitals. Okay, now I'm going to save the file and I'm going to reboot. And it's just going to take a second to reboot. And there we are. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that much easier to see? So now it remembered that the last time we were in Qtile, it also remembered my login name and it's ready to put my password in. And of course you can see at the top, F1 is shut down, F2 is reboot. Now, if I want to change Qtile, I don't want to go into Qtile. I'll use my up arrow and then use my sideway arrows. Okay. Let's go into awesome. Then I use the arrow to go back down to password. I'll put my password in. And let's enter. And now we're in the awesome window manager. Now there's another thing we could do. <laughs> and open up my terminal. Etsy. CD into lie. LS it. And I'm going to go into this config file. Okay. So I'm going to do sudo vim config 
dot ini. Oh, it's asking for my password. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to scan down to line number 10. And I'm going to activate the line by taking out the hashtag. Then I'm going to save the file. Open up my terminal and I'm going to, you can reboot or you can do the sudo system control restart lie. Put my password in. And now you see at the top, we have the date and the time in nice, large, bold, easy to read font. And like I said, F2 is reboot, F1 is shut down, and here we are. Now, what I want to do is go into, so I use my up arrow to go up, and my sideway arrows. Let's find uh, DWM. There it is. Let's go down. Let's put the password in. And now we're in DWM. Now, if you've been watching my... Uh, the three DWM videos I just did the, uh, recently, you would notice that I had the clock and the date and the time here on the bottom. And for this video, I took it out for a reason, and I'm going to show you. But before I do that, <laughs> I'm going to show you something else first. Now, you notice when we're typing in the password, it's showing the asterisk for my uh, password. Well, now, I don't know how to turn that off, but I do know how to make it more invisible. So what we could do is go into a terminal, put cd into etsy, let cd into lie, let's ls it, let's sudo vim config, put my password in, and here I'm going to uncomment this line, and I'm going to delete the asterisk. Okay, now I'm going to save it. I'm going to do sudo system control. I spelled that wrong. Restart lie. Now I'm going to put my password in. Now, see the asterisk is gone, but if you notice it's moving in the cursor. So it's not a perfect solution for hiding how many digits your password are. But... You know, if someone's watching your password and they want to count how many digits you have, it's a little harder to count. Okay, so let's hit enter. And there we are. We're back into DWM. Now, the reason why I took out the date and the clock is this. I'm going to put it back in. Let's CD into period DWM. Let's ls it. And right now, if you look at my auto start, and you're going to know this from if you watched the last three videos, or actually, I'm going to vim into auto. So down in line number 10, I have the, in this auto start file, I have in line number 10, the code that sets the date and the time in the format I like in the bottom right hand corner. And I took it out for the purpose of this video, and I'm going to show you why. So let's get out of there. And let's ls it. And what I'm going to do is, if you see this auto start sh save, that's the way the auto start should be, or the way I want it to be, so it puts the date and the time in. So I'm going to copy auto start sh save to auto start period sh. Now I'm going to vim into auto start. Okay, so now in line 10, I have the date and time, right? Line 12. Okay, so now this is when we reboot and log into DWM, it's going to have the date and time in the bottom corner. Now just take a look at this command in line number 12, where it says x set root, and it has dash name and the date in brackets but look at the word x set root because we're going to talk about that later okay so let's say well, i don't have to save the file let's just get out of there so let's do sudo system control restart lie and there's a reason why i'm doing this put my password in okay so now let's go into dwm so i'm going to put my password in 
and there we are. Now you see, I have the date and the clock in the bottom right hand corner. Okay, now let's log out. Now look at the error I'm getting. Remember I told you to remember the word X set root. Okay, so there is some incompatibility with lie and X set root. Now there might be a way to fix it, but I don't know how to do that. So now if I just leave it the way it is and just type in my password. Now you see it looks a bit funny, but I'm going to get in still. Okay, I got in. But the problem is, besides it looking funny, let's say I want to use my up arrows to go up and change it from DWM to awesome or cutile or cinnamon. Then there's going to be a problem. Watch. Okay. Look at. So now it's messed up. Okay. So in this situation, what I'm probably going to do is I can hit the F1 to shut down or hit the F2 to reboot. So let's hit the F2 and it's going to reboot. I'm going to hit enter. And now I can log into DWM. No problem. But if I log out, then it's going to go weird again. Okay. So now there's no problem or incompatibility with cinnamon. Qtile or awesome window manager and there's no incompatibility or with DWM if I take the clock and the timeout from the bottom right hand corner so now I can move up let's just go uh, let's go back to Qtile because that's where we started the video from go down and hit put my password in and now we're in Qtile now, just a few more things before I end the video. <laughs> Let's quit out of there. Let's go up. It also gives you the option of going to the shell. Let's go to the shell. Let's hit. Now let's go down. Let's put my password in. Let's see what happens. And now we're in the TTY. I already logged in under my name. How about that? Now what happens if I exit? Well, take me back to the... Uh, to light my display manager and it does is that nice let's log back into uh, dwm and that's it in this video i talked about lie a lightweight display manager or login manager and i showed how to install it and use it and i really do like it i think it's a fantastic display manager with one caveat, and that's this. There seems to be some incompatibility with it in Xset root, a file or app that I use to put the clock and the date in the bottom right hand corner of my DWM window manager. Now, DWM works perfectly with Lie if you're not using Xset root. To have the clock and the date in the bottom right hand corner but with it it works kind of weird there's a i guess there's some type of a bug or incompatibility and of course lie works perfectly with qtile and the awesome window manager so i'm really impressed with lie i like it a lot and i was gonna give it a 10 out of 10 but because there's some incompatibility with xset root uh, I think I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Now, maybe there's a way to fix it, but I don't know how. If there is, let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Lennox Mitch.